Christians, welcome to a little video talking about the newly announced, or maybe new, it's fairly new anyway, Jurassic World game that could possibly be coming within the next year. Of course, coinciding with uh, Dominion, which is going to be the final movie in the Jurassic World franchise. Not the final Jurassic movie or thing, because I'm sure they're not going to just let an amazing cash cow like that go cold, eh? Mm. Hiya, Universal. It'll keep on going. But for Jurassic World, for Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, it will probably be the end of that chapter. That's what it is. Okay, so Universal, not too long ago, trademarked a certain phrase. Now, they do this when uh, they trademark a lot of things, just so, you know, they own it and no one else takes the trademark just in case they want to. They probably own a variety of different types. In some cases, it, they do it just to throw people off, especially when it's movies and things like that. But anyway, the one we're talking about today is the new trademark called Jurassic World Primal Ops. It could be a game or it could be a series actually i don't exactly know what it entails i mean primal ops could be like a netflix series or it could just be a tv series in general there's a high possibility that it could be a game and why do i think this well in 2015 we had jurassic world release and coinciding with it uh just a few months earlier we had jurassic world the game now when fallen kingdom came out and that you know those games are going on for three years until and they're still going now when fallen kingdom came out we have Jurassic World Alive, a different sort of game. You know, Jurassic World, the game was a park builder. Jurassic World Alive is a sort of aug augmental, was it? I don't know what you would call those types of games. Pokemon Go-esque game. I think they were the first big one to do it. I'm sure there was other games that uh, existed before Pokemon Go, but pretty much Pokemon Go took it to the mainstream, and then you had the Wizards, you know, the Harry Potter version of it. Now, uh, slightly delayed, albeit, uh, we got Jurassic World Dominion, and it only makes sense that... Universal actually does something with the launch of a Jurassic movie. Like I've harped on about the past, Jurassic Park, when that was released, we had video games, cereal, oh God, McDonald's and everything. There was loads of promotion everywhere for it. Lost World came out. Same thing again. Couldn't move for Lost World and Jurassic stuff. Um, and Jurassic Park 3, same, but not as much. It was there, but not as good. Um, but with Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, for whatever reason, They've just decided to not do that. Um, you know, every now and again, you'll see a little bit of Jurassic World in, in the real world. And a game coinciding uh, that really doesn't have anything to do with the, the actual movie being released. But it's, you know, in the franchise and stuff like that. It's world building. Or they just want to make some sort of microtransaction transaction app game about it. Because of course they do. Um, and with the new film releasing next year, it only makes sense they do another one. This could be Primal Ops. Now, you might be saying, James, why? Are you making a video on this? All they've done is trademark a thing. You're wasting our time. That's where you're wrong. There's more to it than that, baby. So I actually um, brought this up a while ago, maybe in 2020, maybe even beforehand. So circulating around the interwebs and mainly Facebook or Instagram or something like that. I mean, they're both the same corporation. Adverts have popped up for a game, a Jurassic World game that uh, apparently goes nowhere. Click on the link, it takes you to a survey. And you fill it out and you say, well, thanks for showing your interest. And that's it. However, now with this new name, Jurassic World Primal Op, kind of seems more plausible. It is, it does appear to be an app game, but it's not a park builder like the first one, Jurassic World the game. It's not an augmented data, whatever you want to call it, collectathon, like... Jurassic World Alive. It seems to be its own beast. Should we take a look at it? Of course you do. We've waited long enough. Let's have a look at the images. So I managed to dig this up um, and I was like, okay, I know where I saw his Facebook and I found it anyway. Long story short, here are the images. Enjoy. <laughs> See, it says Jurassic World game. That's pretty much all it said. They said Universal Studios licensing. Get. Get. Click that get and it would just take it to a survey. But from this image, you can see there is a pause icon, a boss, which is a T-Rex in front of what appears to be an electric fence, which is very odd. Why would a T-Rex be in front of a working electrified fence? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> as well as coin. Ah, a classic coin. Love it. Gotta, gotta love some coin. And also at the side, you've got uh, what it seems to be a whole like Jurassic World Alive looking thing. Now, it could very well be that this might have been concept for Jurassic World Alive before Jurassic World Alive was a thing. But however, this this is circulated again in 2020. And the reason why I think this might be a different game, we'll get into further with the further images. But you see it says 100 rankings, 4.0, uh, chart and developer. Now, I don't even think these are legit. 
I think this is all just a, a it's a proof of concept. And Chris, who um, is on the Jurassic Outpost, if you know anything about Jurassic News, you probably know Chris. Um, but he's he's kind of on the inside. I always feel like Jurassic Park Outpost or Jurassic Outpost, I should say. They know more than the average person. They know more than I do because they met with Colin Trevorrow and stuff, and they've worked with Universal um, and been to like premieres and stuff like that. So they, I feel like they always know more than they're letting on to an extent. But he said that they been putting out and he tweeted this that they you know this is concept they've been doing this for a while just to gauge people's interest so that's true apparently it makes sense that this would be one of those so we go to the second image uh you got heroes and companions you might also be thinking at this point, well, maybe Primal Ops refers to that Jurassic World survival game. In fact, it was a whole uh, website, www.jurassicsurvivor.com or something, uh, which was eventually canned. Um, and it was the third person, Chris Pratt, you know, running around with a gun. Um, T-Rexes and Triceratops and Stegosaurs animations were all kind of done and everything. And that was cancelled. Now, I don't think it's that. That was completely canned, nipped in the bud. That will never be a thing, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, I have been in touch with the, one of the creators of that game um, and I do want to do like a proper sit down interview with him and just talk it out and what the potential of that game was. But anyway, that's on the topic for another video. We're talking about this one now. Um, so you can see on top left, it's very Jurassic World Live. We look at this because you've got tabs in Jurassic World Live. However, this is buff. This is after Jurassic World Live. So why would they have a concept of it when it already exists? Anyway, well, different colors. You've got gold, purple. I'm just used to this with, you know, Jurassic World Live and Jurassic World the game. You've got blues, uh, greens, and then other things you don't have. Um, now, this could be due to the levels because as you can see the higher level something goes the more color it gets or it could be to do with the dinosaur itself um they all have power um and there's obviously some that aren't unlocked and if we have a look at these dinosaurs t-rex blue conotaurus apatosaur indoraptor interesting sticky moloch and kylosaur tyrannodon triceratops stegosaurus a cyanoceratops and what appears to be a baby echo uh, and a brachiosaur and the ones that aren't locked or are on i'm sorry are locked uh and it looks like you you need something in order to unlock these like if you look at the gallimimus there it's got 15 out of 20 the baronix has 7 out of 20 stegosaur also has 8 out of 20 and strangely enough out of all the other dinosaurs that we can actually see in this image in the bottom right there is a mosasaur when we realize what this kind of game it is or what kind of game it is how does the Mosasaur work in this scenario? I have no idea. I think this was proving to me that this was just a concept. And in fact, a lot of these images are not made for this game. They're just taken from universal stock images of marketing stuff, I think. I mean, we've seen we've seen a lot of these before in other marketing campaigns. It says, collect dinosaur champions. But if you look, you've got coin. And of course, you've got that classic in-game currency, which you need to buy for real dollar dollar. <laughs> Crystals or gems. Uh, you've also got a power, which again was reminiscent of Jurassic World Live when it first released. You had batteries. And you needed certain batteries in order to go and dart dinosaurs, which was quickly scrapped. Um, but maybe they're bringing them back for this kind of game. And you've also got your character and a level 18. So that, I assume, is maybe the hero that you've got equipped. These are your companions, which shows by the companions being highlighted. Uh, our next image shows... I have no idea what this screen is. It just seems to be this is what you might get after winning whatever you've got to do. So you've got your Dino Wrangler, William Bill Riley, level 5, or at least it says, I don't know, that says something 5, and then level 13. Uh, shows his health, his ability, his power, and his attack, as well as whatever those little icons are, I'm not too sure. Velociraptor Blue has the same sort of things, they both have the same abilities. Um, Blue has a little bit more attack and a little less health. Um, a lot more, well, I'll say a lot more power, some power. And mission rewards, which show coin, gems, what appears to be, like I said, with Dress World Live, a battery? Or it could be a DNA capsule. And I have no idea what the thing next to it is. It looks like some sort of police siren. It shows you've got a best 20 out of 50 battle at Big Rock. It's sort of after Fallen Kingdom, but it was basically before this. So could be an Easter egg or could have something to do with what the game will be. And again, now you're starting to see where Primal Ops comes into it. Is this a kind of division where if we're taking the, you know, the, the law of Jurassic World Dominion, dinosaurs are out in the public, this could be a hunter. You're, you're, you're part of a group that needs to contain dinosaurs, bring them back into check and stuff like that. We saw that with Jurassic World Evolution 2, the little demo that we played, and maybe this is the mobile version. 
of that game. Uh, I mean, Jurassic World Live kind of fit into Fallen Kingdom because you were, you know, you're darting dinosaurs that are on the loose. And that's what happens in Fallen Kingdom. Dinosaurs are, are now in the world. Well, we don't see that too much. But it makes sense with Jurassic World Live, you're darting dinosaurs in the real world. Flashback three years before that, and you heard Jurassic World the game with Jurassic World when that released. And that made sense as well because Jurassic World was a park, a theme park. And in Jurassic World the game, you are making a park. So if Dominion has dinosaurs out in the real world being hunted or captured and contained, it would make sense that the app game would mirror that as well. Which is why we have a uh, uh, hunter and companion. Also, we see this one, which shows uh, fight alongside your dinosaur, which shows other hunters with their other dinosaurs. In fact, we have three people on show here. You being the bottom one with 650 health, with your Stinky Moloch taking on what seems to be a Velociraptor and doing well, apparently. And then you've got two other humans, which I assume could be poachers or wranglers or something like that. Uh, one is a Triceratops and the other one, like I said, has the Raptor. Although the other one's being shot at. No blood, of course, because Universal would not like that at all, or at least with the Jurassic game, because there's a lot of kids that play these games. That's why we see no, um, what do you call it? Any blood in these games at all? Except for Jurassic World Live, actually. <laughs> Never mind, I take that word back. <laughs> So you've got the treasure chest there, which is obviously some loot. And it seems to be some sort of... I don't know what to call this kind of game. It's like you go out and you do missions, and then you come back to a hub, upgrade, and do more missions. Now, it's not a farming simulator. There will be a name for it, because I've seen plenty of games that are kind of like this. I just don't know what to call them. So if you, knew, if you do know, leave them in the comments down below. And then a next one, which shows save dinosaurs in need. Again, this is probably another scenario where the poachers have captured dinosaurs. Again, really tying into Dominion. And I think this actually came out maybe even pre-Fallen Kingdom. And it's making more and more sense the, the more time is going on, if I'm going to be honest. And now the final image, which shows dinosaurs roam the earth. Can your team save them all? Dinosaurs have been released and are running wild. It is up to you and your team to rescue the dinosaurs from poachers. Relocate dangerous carnivores to safety. And train your team of human experts and dinosaur companions as you encounter increasingly difficult situations, features, real-time Jurassic World action combat gameplay, strategize your team upgrades and train your dinosaur's companion or dinosaur companion to unlock challenging missions. Okay. Outsmart enemies as you compete to rescue your next dinosaur and create your own playstyle through epic power-ups hidden inside the levels in each mission. Rating or reviews, this app hasn't received enough ratings or reviews to display this summary because it wasn't, it was just a proof of concept, really. And if you do fill it out, you get this. Thank you for your interest in this new game. Uh, unfortunately, this game is not yet available, but we would appreciate a moment of your time to complete a short survey in order to help us explore this concept. Your responses will be anonymous and no personal data about you is collected or proceeded. So in other words, this video kind of will also help Universal uh, to decide if this is something that they want to go down. I mean, if it is at this point, what's the time? We've got less than, we've got half a year till Dominion releases or something like that. Um, or maybe just over, a, just under a year. Um, chances are they're probably already working on this game as we speak. There was some company under an NDA that cannot say anything and they are working on this game. Um, and what do I have to say about it? I'm never going to say no to more Jurassic World games ever. It is a shame to see another app game when there is so much potential for other games to appear in, in this universe. We've had console games and PC games, and the only PC game we've gotten with Jurassic World so far is Evolution. We've had plenty in the past. Jurassic Park franchise has spanned every kind of console uh, you could imagine. And Jurassic World seems to have only gone for two mobile titles, and now what appears to be two uh, uh, PC games. Uh, I guess they are console as well, but you know what I mean, they're park builders. And there's so much more you could do with the Jurassic franchise. It's nice to see another game, but because it's a mobile game, it's going to be microtransactions. And yes, it's free. And yes, I guess you, you show your support. But as a person who has played Jurassic or app games for almost their whole YouTube career, in fact, it started with it almost, um, I'm getting kind of tired of it, of, um, you know, playing these games so long and then it gets to a point where hackers come in or, you know, cheaters and then you need to pay, you don't have to, but it, it just kind of, I don't know, it defeats it in a way. And I don't think this is going to be a kind of game where, I mean, it does say that you get a uh, real-time Jurassic World action, so maybe it is a multiplayer. Most app games aren't really multiplayer. It's like fake. It's like PvE almost. It's like, okay, we take your character and then you get invaded or something like that. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they do. But to have an actual PvP kind of thing, 
I don't know. Also, we don't see anywhere what kind of company is making this. <laughs> Which it could be very likely, Ludia, because they do a lot of different games. And they, of course, have the Jurassic license to make Jurassic World Live and Jurassic World The Game. And it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't surprise me if they made a third one. Um, but I think Universal also have their own gaming division. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if they are also doing it. But um, before I take up any more of your time, because I'm just looking at it now, and that's a lot, a lot of time to talk about just a few screenshots and what could be an announcement for a game that never exists. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm excited. If it is a real game, I'm really excited to see it. And if the game does appear in the way it looks like, I'm sure I'll play it, I'm sure I'll enjoy it, and I'm sure a lot of other people will. Whether I'll keep playing it, I don't know. We'll see if it's any good. I'd hope it would be good. Um, but yeah, just a heads up. Keep your eyes open. Eyes on the sky. Look out for those pteranodons that could sweep down and uh, peck your eyes out. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you beaver babies later. Bye-bye. <laughs>